Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be playing the oldest grand strategy game of all time. Now if you don't know the oldest grand strategy game of all time I guess according to me and maybe no one else is uh, of course the game Risk. If you don't know Risk by now I'm not sure what to tell you man but it's a super super popular board game. I guess one of the most well known board games of all time and it was invented in 1957 which I think think makes it the oldest grand strategy game of all time what's a grand strategy game anyway i guess staring at a map and using soldiers to conquer it or something like that but uh yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today now as you can see i'm already in the risk game right here and admittedly boys this is the worst possible way of playing risk but uh, i just couldn't film myself playing risk with my friends and stuff like that this is the official i guess risk game that's available on steam and it is absolutely horrible and very very stupid it's a it's a micro transaction full money grab and stuff like that and it's not very good at all but i feel like it is the closest thing to uh, original risk i could find or something like that so this is the game man i'm not even going to explain too much about the game i'm just doing a video right now if you want to play risk just get the board game and play with your friends a lot better don't buy this stupid app or game or whatever but uh yeah i'm gonna be doing it for your entertainment so let's go ahead and jump into battle right here i'm gonna be playing solo versus the ai because obviously i can't wait to uh be matched up with people like that and uh there we go let's go off to battle i'm gonna be playing the classic world map you know the, the the classic risk the original one uh let's go next right here and mess with some of the modifiers now uh let's go ahead and choose semi-auto placement territories are distributed automatically and randomly players manually deploy troops onto their territories yeah there we go just like that just like actual risk card bonuses you get an extra troops from uh, cards and stuff like that so let's go ahead and make that progressive just like it is in the board game i'm gonna be playing with expert difficulty right here because i do consider myself somewhat of a risk expert and dice rolls let's make them truly random and there we go just like that we are gonna play it costs like five money to play a game i can't believe how stupidly designed this game is man it's absolutely horrible the gameplay itself is pretty good it's like actual risk but everything aside from that is absolutely horrible and it plays like a cash grab mini game and stuff like that so yeah there we go those are my um what you call it my rivals here benjamin alton and ronj i'm gonna be red right here as we can see i'm from timor less and uh let's go ahead and uh start up this game so uh there we go i'm player two actually pretty good being first or second is probably the best since you'll get to keep most of your territories for extra troops and this is what i've gotten man pretty abysmal territories that i got if i'm gonna be honest and i am gonna start off with the classic and best and probably the best beginner friendly risk strategy of stacking all your troops in australia if you got a territory there and then uh, trying to expand from there now let's hope this purple guy doesn't put too much stuff next to me. I think I'm going to spam all my troops right here, man. The goal is to pretty much conquer the entirety of Australia. So you can, uh, you know, hold down a continent immediately. It is the easiest to hold down if you, you know, place your troops here or here. So you can just, you know, uh, farm extra troops, build doom stacks just like in U4, and then just go blobbing. Now in a normal campaign versus players that actually have a brain to use, uh, once people see you stacking stuff uh, in a certain place, it doesn't have to be Australia, normally they would just back off, right? They place a couple of troops, see that it's not worth fighting over there, and then they'd back off and go somewhere else. But uh, obviously the AI doesn't think like that, so that's why they're putting down uh, troops over here. As you can see, I don't care for any of my other territories. I'm just spamming everything over in Australia. And we'll see how that works out, man. The, a lot of times this strategy is, is successful. Uh, sometimes it's not, but... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to see how it works out versus the expert risk AI over here. Luckily, we're playing world domination here, so I have to conquer the entire world to win. But if this was mission focused and you played with the missions, I'd obviously focus a little bit on what the mission is telling me to do as well. So there we go. I got three extra troops for um, what you call it. There we go. There's the yellow guy's turn. This is where he placed them. All right, now he's uh, he's attacking. Oh, I didn't even see what happened. I guess I shouldn't have skipped that. But yeah, I got four extra troops, man. I'm going to be placing them all over here in Eastern Australia, and that's uh, the draft phase over. So that's how you do it. You draft troops, you place them, and then you attack if you want to. And if you do, you gain a card. If you don't, you know, you can just rearrange your troops. That's the third phase. We'll get there. But yeah, let's go to the next phase, man. It's time for me to attack here. Obviously, I'm going to be attacking from here. I guess we're going to go like... Oh, when did they place six troops in New Guinea? I really have to fight 13 troops with 25 over here? Jesus. Yeah, let's just hit Western Australia, man. Let's go ahead and uh, roll. There we go. 6-3. Oh, there we go. Not bad. 
6.5. That's pretty good. Why is this so loud, too? I have to turn it down. Yeah. Oh, he, he, he got me right there. This is the battles. So yes, we're going to be skipping a lot of this. So, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and leave all my troops in Western Australia. Let's end the attack phase. And let's continue to the fortify phase where I'm not really doing anything. And let's go ahead and end our turn. And there we go. I got one card. Perfect. Okay, my turn again. I have been getting wiped in various areas, but that's really no big deal. Purple and yellow are looking pretty good right here. Yellow almost holds North America. Purple pretty much holds South America. So I'm getting three troops right now. This green guy is still reinforcing in Papua New Guinea, which is honestly kind of annoying. I guess I didn't think that this uh, expert AI would be that expertly. But let's go ahead and place all of the troops right here. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, pummel... Uh, this guy with nine troops over here in uh, New Guinea, which uh, isn't really something you'd want to do. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and roll and uh, we're done. There we go. I beat him up. Now, since I didn't lose too many troops, and by the way, with just one button click, you can do them, you know, over and over, or you could just, you know, skip all of that. Uh, we're pretty close to conquering all of Australia. I am going to push for Indonesia, and let's see, I lost five troops. That's actually quite a lot, and I think I am going to stay in Indonesia for now, gather up a bit of troops, and then push into Siam. So there we go. Uh, time to end the attack phase. We can fortify. Nothing to fortify. And we're just done right here. So let's see what happens next. Okay, we arrive to our next turn right here, man. Yellow is looking good. It has all of North America. So they are going to get quite a few troops from that. You gain two from Australia and South America. Uh, three from Africa, five from North America and Europe, I think. And then I think it's like seven from Asia since it's the hardest to hold. Don't, uh, don't, uh, you know, take my word on that. On the, on the actual board game map, it says like right here next to the content, it's how much you get. But that's five troops from me, man. I got two cards, nothing I can trade in right now for extra troops. That's what you do with your cards. So I'm once again going to go ahead and, um, yeah, draft all five of the troops right there in Indonesia. And let's move on to the next phase where we're going to go ahead and attack over here in Siam. And boom, there we go. Didn't lose any troops. Perfect. I'm going to station all of them in Siam. No moving for now because the next uh, time, you know, we attack, we sort of want to end up holding both China and India. And until I have enough troops to actually fortify China and India, I'm going to stick to here and maybe just pounce on these guys a little bit to get some cards. But once I have enough troops to maybe put like 12 and 12 here, I think that's when I'll start moving to towards both China and India. Uh, the part of getting to hold all of Australia is pretty easy, but then actually getting out and starting to hold Asia is actually pretty difficult. But there we go. Let's end the attack phase. Nothing to fortify. Fortify is when you move your troops around. You can move them only from one place, only to another one place, uh, as long as it's connected. But there we go. Let's end my turn. Uh, I got a territory card bonus, and uh, we'll see if I can get anything. But yeah, look at how much troops Yellow is getting, man. He just got 10 troops. That's really strong. So yeah, man, Yellow pushed a little bit into South America over here, but it's not looking too good. Doesn't have too many troops. Green has lots of territories over here, but it's not really well fortified at all. So what I'm going to do is put uh, five of these guys down there in Siam. And I am actually go ahead, going to go ahead and attack here because um, there isn't a high concentration of troops over here. So let's go ahead and push into China right there. There we go. I didn't lose any troops, which is actually really good. What I'm going to do is put like, um, let's see, like 10 in China, just like that. And then from Siam, I'm going to attack in India. Didn't lose any troops, which is perfect. And now I'm going to go ahead and put down a 12 right there. Boom, just like that. No more attacks. Let's fortify. And what I'm going to do is move one troop from Siam over to China. And there we go. Just like that, we're done. So slow but steady expansion looking pretty good. Yellow is still getting a whole lot of troops. We'll see what happens. Okay, once again, got five troops. Yellow did reinforce over here a little bit. Purple is looking pretty weak. I think it's going to drop out pretty soon. And I think it's going to be me versus yellow with uh, yellow being actually in a stronger position because uh, it's able to easily start dominating South America here. Now, I do got a couple of more provinces over here, so to say. Uh, it still won't be very easy for me to hold this, especially since yellow is fortifying uh, in Kamchatka instead of Alaska, which is actually a pretty good strategy. You know, if you hold North America, you sort of want to fortify in uh, Iceland, Kamchatka and uh, Colombia over here instead of in like Mexico, Greenland or Alaska. So the AI is doing pretty well. Now, I got five troops right here, man. I really don't know where to place them. Maybe we can put them in China and just hit over here a little bit and something like that. So, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is put them all in China. Uh, and I think I'm going to move on to the next phase right here and just hit Mongolia real quick. 
just like that. I actually lost a whole lot of troops right there. Oh my god. And I'm gonna do that. This was just to get a card. And then that's it. I'm ending my attack phase. It's time to fortify. Let's move all of the Mongolian guys over back to China. Okay, there we go. I just did that for a card. Next time, we'll see if we can do anything with Kamchatka. This guy got 11 troops, and uh, we'll see what he does. Not placing them that close to me, which is good. All right, so uh, I got five troops, obviously, from the territories that I'm holding. Purple got knocked out. Yellow is even in a better position right here. But I can trade in some cards, and I'm going to get 10 troops for these because the card to trade is progressive. So the first guy that trades gets like four. Then the next guy, maybe even it's the same guy, gets six and stuff like that. It progresses based on every trade. So there we go. Now we got 15 troops man i think this is a pretty good opportunity to um uh wait how do we hold this here so it would be three here and then one here that's still pretty risky but i do think i have to do that or no what i'm gonna do is actually put them all here there we go just like that and uh i'm gonna attack i like to play, play risk pretty slowly man but uh yeah i'm gonna attack from yakutsk over in kamchatka let's see lost four troops that's actually quite a lot and i am gonna keep all of them in Kamchatka. No pushing into Alaska just yet. I'm pretty slow here. Uh, no fortifications. And then next time we could push here and here and then hold all three of these here, right? If we get to Russia in the Middle East, actually, that would be really good. But this 7K right here or seven uh, is really messing with me. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Dude, yellow is about to frick me, man. He just got like 20 something troops, like 13 from territories, 10 from cards or something like that. So now that's where he's pushing. He just got all of Europe frick. He's gonna get so many troops next turn, man. Yeah, green's about to be knocked out here too. Not looking good for me. Not looking good for me. All right, so I got six troops and I can gain a lot more from cards and I am gonna do that. There we go. So now we got 21 troops in order. Uh, 21 troops able to recruit now. Yeah, yellow's got 19 in Alaska, bro. That's actually so much. Oof. The best thing we could do here is to take down these five territories. So then I have only three to hold. Russia, the Middle East, and Kamchatka. And then I guess maybe we both fortify up in the north. And sort of the main battleground will be Europe and Africa. Yeah, pretty messed up, man. Pretty messed up. But there's just so many troops to fight here. That's the thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and put down like 10 right here in India. Then let's go ahead and put 10 down in China as well. And let's put down one more in India. So yeah, that's... That's how we're looking like, man. Oh, this is going to be tough. Very tough. So maybe from here, I hit this, this, and then this. And then from here, I hit this and that. Yeah, yeah. Let me go ahead and try fight for Siberia here. Didn't lose any troops. Perfect. Let's hit the Ural. Boom. Didn't lose any troops. Perfect. Uh, do we push in here now? Or do we go like this and then like this? Yeah, let's try and hit Afghanistan from India. Lost six troops, but... Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm still pretty confident here. Okay. So let's go from Alaska to the Middle East. And let's just go ahead and roll them one by one. Let's see. Boom. There we go. Actually not good. Actually not good. Actually not good. I'm getting more luck with the freaking, um, whatever I was doing earlier. Yeah. And when I click the blitz button, it basically skips all of these, you know, dice roll clicks and stuff like that. But we're done here. Man, I don't like the amount of troops I have at all. Yeah, let's do one final one. Uh, Ural into Ukraine. I swear that didn't used to be named Ukraine, but I can see why, I guess. <laughs> okay, that's one view. Oh, I lost two right there. About to lose two again. Damn it. Uh, one, one. Yep. Uh, two to one. Okay, actually, no, I beat them twice. So now we got how many left? Two. Okay, yeah, that's an easy win. One, one. And that's it. He's gone. Okay. Actually, not that bad. I didn't lose as many troops as I thought I would. Let's end the attack phase. And let's go ahead and move, Um, like, I don't know. Yeah, one troop over there. Or actually two. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Now it's pretty messed up. Let's see how many troops yellow gets. 14. Oh. He just got so many. He actually got so many. How does he have that many? Oh, wow. He actually didn't choose to attack. Or he did. What the frick happened here? Did green beat me up here? It did. Yeah, this is not looking good, boys. I got beat up up here, although he couldn't push in. I think the best thing to do is actually put them up in Kamchatka and go ahead and uh, hit him from Kamchatka in Alaska. So uh, he can't get extra troops from North America. There we go. I'm done.
Now what are you gonna do? All right, I got seven troops. They did push into here, man. Yellow did push into here, but then green pushed yellow over here. So I really don't know what to do. I don't have enough troops for this. What I'm gonna do is just, um, let's see, let's put a couple of down here. Let's have five in Siam, and then I'm gonna put some more down in uh, Alaska. And what I'm gonna do is attack the Northwest Territory just to get a card. There we go. Okay, let's end. Seven troops again. I'm actually going to continue to fortify over here a little bit in Siam. Ah, I got nothing I can attack. Frick me, man. Let's put them all in Siam. I think I'm just going to have to go for India right here. This isn't the best. It's definitely not. Oh, lost four troops. That actually sucks. That actually sucks. But at least I got um, at least I got a card. Let's put the Indian guys back in Siam. Yellow just got 45 troops. <laughs> My Australia strategy didn't work out. I came into this video acting all like a pro, but I'm about to lose to the AI. All right, so I got knocked out of North America, and this guy pushed into Kamchatka over here. Oh, I think I can trade cards. Great. Now I'm going to get 37, actually, which is perfect. So we did get quite a lot of troops. Uh, you know, as you can see, it grows quite a lot exponentially. <laughs> um, shoot, man. Can we hold these three? I think we can. All right, this is how I put them down. I actually made a little bit of a mistake, but uh, no big deal. Let's go ahead and attack from here to here, and I lost 12 troops. That's way too much oh i gotta continue here to stop him from getting extra troops lost three more that's actually not good at all um and let's go ahead and um actually attack here lost one troop actually that's pretty good uh i'm actually gonna stay here i'm not fortified well at all if this ai was smart they'd push all the way into australia but let's see what happens all right, green got knocked out. Uh, yellow holds South America, Africa, and Europe, so they are going to get quite a lot of territories. And he's put it down at 29 over in Russia, which means there's absolutely no way for me to push in there. So what I'm going to do is just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Put them down in India and uh, attack in the Middle East just so I can get a card. There we go. No, I actually want to attack there, man. There we go. Didn't lose uh, any troops, which is great. And now because I'm uh, scared, I'm actually gonna... Wait, I'm actually gonna tell these guys to go here. There we go. This might not be that good considering how many troops he has here, but let's see. Now he's gonna get 18 from land and 40 from cards. So he's just got 58 troops. That, yeah, that's it. I'm dead, boys. I'm actually dead. You know what? I'm not even gonna skip this. Let's just let's just see. He put 41 down in East Africa. Why? Why? Yeah, he's closing in. And actually, this AI is playing really well, man. It's exactly how I would play. Can we trade in cards? Yes, I can. I can gain 45 troops. There's, there we go. There's 50 troops. What I'm going to do here is um, put them all down here. I'm not going to attack. <laughs> and I'm going to pull these guys back here. Defensive strategy activated. You just got 24 troops. Yeah, this is how far he's pushed in. He's starting to surround me. I just got five troops. Obviously, I'm not going to be getting any more because I don't have cards to trade in. So I'm not even going to be attacking. I'm just going to... I'm just going to chill and see and wait what he does. And this is what he did. Oh, that's what he did. I'm, uh, I'm dead, right? Well, Ranj Tzvele, I salute you. Good job. I can't believe I lost to AI. What the frick? All right, it's time for a rematch, this time hopefully with a different strategy because I can't let myself be beat by the AI. This isn't U4, this is Risk, and I should be smarter than Risk AI. Now, I have gotten some territories in North America, obviously. I do still have a territory in Australia this game, too. Uh, I got quite a few over in Europe, but Europe is just so hard to hold, man, since you gotta control this, this, this. I don't know, it's it's kind of hard to fortify yourself over here. So uh, let me actually try the North America. America strat? I don't know. All right, so the draft went horribly after everyone began stacking over in North America, so I just decided to stack over here a little bit and actually try and run away to South America. I got some troops over here as well to try and control West Africa, so basically hold Mexico and West Africa, and those are going to be my points of expansion. Obviously, they could have gone to Australia this time, but then the AI would have gone over there as well, and uh, let's hope I don't get pummeled, man. Yellow seems to be the strongest AI in every game. Okay, the, it's my turn now. This is what happened. This is what the map looks like, so I got three extra troops over here. What I think I'm going to try and do is uh, take these 12k and uh, try and conquer all of South America with them, and then get these seven, or actually I'm going to get 10 over there and try and conquer north africa with that so there we go 
that's what I'm going to do. Let's attack from here to North Africa. Kind of risky 10 versus 4 this early, but let's see. Lost three troops. That's actually way too much. Uh, and now let me go ahead and take these guys and push it to Central America. Didn't lose any troops, so that's good. Three over here might be a little more difficult. Lost two troops. That's not good. So with eight, I should be able to take Peru, Argentina, and Brazil. So let's just go Peru first. Lost a troop. That actually sucks. Let's go to Argentina. Lost a troop. That actually sucks. Let's go to Brazil from Argentina. Uh, there we go. Didn't lose a troop. Okay, we're chilling. Let's end the attack phase. Yeah not looking good at all i'm actually gonna fortify from here to here since mexico might be too tempting for purple we'll see what happens next time okay so this is what it's looking like man people seem to be leaving australia alone which is quite interesting so i don't know if i should take something over there or i might end up stretching too thin so i'm actually comfortable with this i am gonna put all of them down in australia and let's try and conquer all australia here so Let's move to Eastern first. Didn't lose a troop. That's great. Let's hit New Guinea. Lost a troop. Not very good. And let's try and hit Indonesia. 2v1 actually kind of sucks. And there we go. I didn't get it. I didn't get it. At least I got a card because I conquered territory. So let's see what the AI does now. All right, my turn once again. Once again, it didn't get touched by the AI. Purple is consolidating Europe over here. Yellow is almost knocked out. Uh, this this color, I don't know what to call it. This is purple. I don't know. Maybe this is purple too. I don't know. Uh, it's not looking too good either. So this guy uh, right here is definitely going to be my main rival. Now, what I'm going to do here is put just one or actually two troops down in central america and then i'm gonna put four down over here in new guinea and let's go ahead and uh hit indonesia from here didn't lose a troop perfect and i'm actually gonna end it right there all right let's see what uh these guys do all right my turn again i got eight troops this time these guys are messing with themselves and not messing with me which is actually really good for my game right here i got eight troops right now so what i'm gonna do is uh, fortify just a little bit over here in north africa by putting two guys down then i think i'm gonna go ahead and put one guy down in central america not expand over there just yet and i am gonna put five guys down in indonesia and now with these guys i'm gonna try and hold siam there we go didn't lose a troop that's perfect so we got eight right there eight right there six right there i think we're looking pretty good this is a pretty good fort right here this is a pretty good fort that i can try and hold these two from later on and then from here i think i'm gonna try and hold these two later on once we uh, trade some cards as well so let's see what the two purple guys do sorry if anyone is colorblind i'm sure it must be pretty hard to differentiate uh while these three colors that we're playing with and maybe the background as well <laughs> all right so i got eight troops right now uh these guys are looking okay they hit me over here in china but it's really no big deal and i am gonna go ahead and trade three cards for uh there we go for more troops and now i got 16 troops to put down so first i'm gonna fortify in north africa a little more by putting two more down over there now i'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a couple of more down in uh, what you call it in siam just like that so we got 10 10 right there and now i'm gonna go ahead and put uh all of the rest in central america and now i'm gonna go for these two territories right here so there we go let's uh let's go ahead and hit um the west Western US from Central America lost one troop actually pretty good attack right there and now let's hit the Eastern United States didn't lose any troops perfect man so what we're gonna do is this right here and now we got these two territories on lock I'm good with my attack phase for now I am pretty satisfied with what I got now the thing where it gets complicated is these guys get more and more troops from cars right purple is getting a lot of troops because he holds Europe but then again I don't know I guess we'll have to see so yeah let's see what happens and by the way I know some of you are thinking conquer more territories for more cards but no matter how many territories you conquer you still only get one card if you conquer something if you don't conquer anything you don't get a card so yeah it doesn't matter if you fight seven territories or one you still get one card so there we go this guy got nine troops let's see what he does all right i got eight troops i'm actually gonna put all of them down in siam and what we're gonna do is attack china from siam didn't lose any troops which is perfect i'm gonna move all of them there that's it my attack phase is done and now it's time to fortify by moving some troops over here and we're gonna do something like that perfect i'm pretty satisfied with that maybe we can trade some cards next turn as well all right next turn uh yellow got wiped out purple is looking really really strong right here man uh north america is almost good for the taking right here let's see if i can trade cards i can't they're all they all need to be the same or all of them need to be different that's how you trade it so no trading cards just now only eight troops right here man oh i actually did get beat up in west africa i just noticed that frick I gotta put all of them down in Brazil and try and defend myself. Shoot. 
what I'm gonna do here is... Man, I'm still getting surrounded by all of these assholes. Yeah, just one attack in Quebec. Didn't lose a troop. Perfect. I'm not even gonna move any troops right there. Let's just put them all back from Quebec over here. There we go. That's what I'm gonna do. I still can't trade cards next turn either. Frick. Yeah, I can't. All right, so Purple did get a lot of troops. This other guy is almost knocked out. He put down like 20 troops in West Africa, man, trying to hit me in Brazil, but I'm big chilling because uh, he didn't end up doing that. So it's gonna be pretty hard to hold on over here because he's stacking, obviously, all the way around me. I still can't trade any cards. That absolutely sucks, man. But then again, he can't trade in any cards in his next turn either. So what I'm going to do is put all of them down in Brazil, man. And I think I got to do this. I got to attack him in North Africa. Lost four troops. Not that bad. And I think I'm done right here. Right. This guy's pink. Pink. Okay, so actually pretty good, man. Uh, Purple did get beat up quite a lot over here by Pink in this previous turn. And now I can trade cards and gain 25. But do I trade them in and get 25 or wait for next turn and get like 60? Then again, this is the AI. There's no you know human element of surprise when you're playing with your boys and stuff like that. Uh, in real life, a, a board game, you want to you know save those cards so you can trade them in all at once. Getting like 50 troops all at once and stuff like that. You know, it's the, it's the surprise element and stuff like that, which I really think works versus an AI. I don't think the AI can be surprised. So what I'm going to do is actually trade in um, yeah, these cards right now. There we go. I got some more troops. So now I can put down 34. Now with 34 troops, man, frick, dude, we should be able to do quite a lot. All right. This is how I've put them down. I reinforced over here a little bit, but got quite a few up here. I think think we're gonna go ahead and uh hit um hit that guy up here somewhere i don't know what to do exactly here but yeah let's hit alberta here perfect let's go ahead and move all troops and let's hit ontario from the eastern u.s actually not looking that bad do i continue man do i continue do i do this and then this shoot six is quite a lot man six is quite a lot now i can't really hold this right here too because he could just get like he won't be trading troops though huh so right now he can't get that many so i don't think he'll be able to push in real hard over here so yeah i'm gonna end my attack phase right here and i'm just gonna move some troops from here to here and maybe do something like this yeah, there we go. Let's see what he does. All right, uh, purple wasn't very successful here. Pink beat him up up here a little bit, and then he tried taking back territory, but lost quite a few troops. Now I can get 10 troops, but also 30 more. So there we go. Just like that, we got 40 troops to recruit. Now, I'm feeling pretty powerful here. However, next turn, this guy might be able to get like 50 troops up. So I think what we need to do right here is... Uh, push from here into Kamchatka and push from here into Iceland. So let me arrange my troops. All right, this is how I've arranged my troops. Reinforced a little bit in India and China and in West Africa and put quite a lot down over here in these two territories. Now with this stack, I'm going to move this way and attempt to land in Kamchatka. And with this stack, I'm going to push over towards Iceland. So let's go ahead and do this first right here. There we go. Didn't lose any troops. Perfect. Even got an achievement for that. You can't see it because it's behind me. Uh, but there we go. Now let's push into Alaska here. Lost seven troops that freaking sucks man okay let's hit it let's hit kamchatka as well lost two troops over there all right so i got 18 troops in kamchatka let's take these 27 and push into greenland lost two that's actually not bad at all let's push into iceland lost none that's pretty good uh okay now we got 23 over here and 18 over here what i think we're gonna do is end the attack phase right now and let's fortify and move all of the troops from this province over to kamchatka there we go. I think we're pretty good right here, man. Sort of surrounding this guy. Uh, Pink just got three troops. Let's see how many purple gets. That's what I'm afraid of. I think if he has the cards, he could rack up 50 troops right here. And I'm the only one left to fight. Yeah, he got quite a lot. He got like 40 troops, man. He put them down here and here. So he is definitely going to push into West Africa. I don't think he's going to get into Australia or North America from here, at least. He could go like this, though. Yeah, there we go. Yep, right there. Okay, so... uh. I got 13 troops. This is how far he pushed in. Luckily, he lost all of his troops. Now, even if I put all of these guys down here and go back to here... Um... Actually, if I go to West Africa, he can hit me from here. So I think I put them down here, all of them, by the way, and just uh, go for Brazil. And I think his next spot of attack is going to be Iceland. But yeah, it's just, what are you going to do? There we go. Okay, let's go to Argentina now. Got it. Didn't lose a troop. Perfect. Let's go to Brazil now. Got it. Lost one troop. Still cool. And let's end the attack phase here. And uh, nothing to fortify, I guess. Yeah, maybe take a couple of troops over here. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, something like this. 
Uh, the, it's gonna be real messed up next turn. So pink just died, but uh, purple has five cards, man. So he's definitely gonna be trading for a lot. I'm still not gonna be trading. He's got troops here. He's got troops here. Yeah, really gotta reinforce in Brazil, obviously. Let me put down like 20 right there. Of uh, 20 total. And uh, what I'm gonna do here is... Where's the easiest place to attack? Actually, what I'm gonna do is put down a couple more in India and a couple of more in China, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is just do a little hit over here in Scandinavia in order to pick up a territory card. Plus one troop, I'm not even gonna move any of them. Let's end the attack phase and let's just move the Scandinavia guys back to Iceland. All right, let's see how many troops he gets. He's gonna get nine troops and 40 from cards, so 49. Yeah, frick, frick, frick. All right, let's see where he attacks. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Uh, that was expected. No, he's gonna frick me in China. Oh, no. He's gonna push into Australia. Alright, so I got 15 troops, but I can trade in 45 more. So there we go. There's 60 troops for me. If I don't beat his ass now, I don't know when I will. So I don't know what to do here. Let me just figure that out, and we'll do it. Alright, put down a little more reinforcements over here, but I put all of them down in Indonesia. Now I'm planning to just blitz everything uh up to like here yeah something like that i don't know let's see all right i'm beating his ass quite hard up north over here let's see how this continues i have lost quite a lot of troops by the way obviously uh my goal is to get to ukraine so yeah losing quite a lot more troops than i would like to but i did eventually get there now let's push from india into the middle east there we go got that as well and now my final goal here is to hit japan from kamchatka just like that and now i'm done and now i'm gonna reinforce everything from japan over here there we go i think i'm looking better but let's see how many troops he gets he has cards so he just got 11 from territories and he didn't trade in any cards he doesn't have them let's see what we can do next time i do hold all of asia where is he gonna hit me in iceland l but he's gonna get me from here right yeah he did get me didn't go for north america and he didn't get south america either he didn't get that yes that's it that's it this guy's done <laughs> you're done all right i got 26 troops just from territories so i think if we don't beat him now he's gonna have a comeback because he does have four cards and with those four cards if he has a pair to trade the next trade is for 50 man so he's gonna pull 50 troops out of his ass so i gotta beat him now so i think the strat is with this stack conquer all of europe and then with these two stacks go for africa so what i'm gonna do right here is put down a couple of more in the middle east maybe let's do something like this let's put down a couple of more in brazil maybe we can do something like this and because the middle east guy is gonna go for east africa let's just put the rest of the nine over there perfect now let's see from here i go here 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 uh here 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 okay so let's just uh, push into Scandinavia. There we go. Losing troops, but no big deal. Let's push into Iceland. It's way more fun, by the way, when you're actually rolling dice on your table instead of just clicking buttons. But uh, there we go. Got Great Britain as well. Let's go for Northern Europe. Boom, got that. Perfect. Let's go for Southern Europe. Boom, got that. Didn't lose any troops, by the way. Let's go for Western Europe. Boom, just like that. And by the way, you always leave a troop behind, if you guys didn't know by now. So now let's push from Brazil into North Africa. Lost one troop. No big deal. Let's push into East Africa from the Middle East. Lost seven troops. That was a big battle right there. Let's go to Madagascar. Boom. This guy's done, baby. This guy's done. Let's go into South Africa. Boom, you're done. Perfect. Let's go to the Congo. Just like that. Boom, you're out. And then one final territory left for this purple guy right here, which I dislike very much because he has quite a smug look on his face. Now, from North Africa into Egypt, final roll, and that's it, that's it. Yes, of course I won, bro, of course I won. You think you can take me down two games in a row? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. But yeah, there you have it, man. That's Risk, probably the oldest grand strategy game of all time, at least, you know, in the way that we think of grand strategy games today. Super, super fun. Probably one of my favorite games of all time. One of my favorite board games of all time as well. Uh, way, way, way better when you play it in person with your friends or your family or whoever, or maybe not in person, but when you play versus other people that you talk to as well, maybe hop uh, on Discord with your boys and stuff like that, play it online, or if you 
you got someone to play with IRL, then definitely go ahead and do that. The board game is way more fun. This official sort of risk game that's on Steam, it's not good at all, man. It's got these microtransactions, um, stupid bullshit like that. I do not recommend that you spend your money on this game unless you want to play with your boys online or something like that. It's not very good at all. It's decent for playing versus DA like this. And like I said, with your boys and stuff like that, but don't get it if you don't have someone that you know, friends or online friends or whatever to actually play it with. I do not recommend it for solo gameplay. Don't waste your money on it. But yeah, Risk, man, like I said, one of my favorite games of all time, probably the oldest grand strategy game of all time. Uh, this is where my love of map games started way back in whenever I played Risk for the first time. It was probably elementary school. And uh, yeah, I've been playing games like this for more than uh, 15 years now, I guess. Uh, actually, probably more than that, 16, 17 years, I would say. And uh, yeah, it's always super, super fun. So there you have it, man. The oldest grand strategy game of all time. How far have we progressed with, uh, well, uh, where EU4 is at right now or where uh, EU5 will be in a few years? Super, super fun. Definitely give it a shot. The board game, though. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with more strategy games. I don't know. Bye-bye.